Hello everyone, Brian here. In the previous episode, we saw a female Perlanchic melon blossom. It has since been pollinated, and before we see how it's doing today, let's see what else is going on in the planter. Let's start off by looking at the powder star pole beans. This one is picking the sunflower to climb on, as opposed to the pole that I gave it. And the ones on this side are starting to blossom. They have cream colored flowers. The bean pods down here are getting bigger. In the previous episode, we saw the beginnings of the pod. And we can see notches on them where the individual beans are. As we move back to the front of the raised bed, we'll be passing the trellis that has the Karlankic melon growing on it. And we'll get back to it in a bit. But first, let's look at the watermelon. The Ziwang watermelon is being trained to the left because there's more sunlight this way and there are a couple of watermelons on here this larger one was the one that was hand pollinated and this other one was also pollinated but it doesn't look like it'll set fruit it looks a little bit wrinkly and in my experience with watermelons I usually get only one fruit per per uh, plant until the plant is done developing the watermelon it'll make another one so I'm curious to see if I'll have a different experience this is a female watermelon blossom and the females have the little watermelon at the end of it this is a male blossom and at the end it's just the stem this is the other Yiwang sweet watermelon plant and thus far it's only making male flowers. Hopefully it'll make a female flower shortly so we can have another watermelon. This is the Abigail's coffee okra. Coffee okra have really interesting leaves and their flowers are really really pretty. So we're looking forward to seeing some flowers. This is the other Abigail's coffee okra. It's a little bit smaller because it sprouted later. If you recall from the previous episode, there was a minor aphid issue on the Kerlankic melon. The good news is that has worked itself out. The bad news is, against my best judgment, I allowed it to grow in dense and then I rushed one day and watered the leaves of the plants and now I have a minor mole issue. Mole is one of those harder to combat problems. So I thinned it out and I'm giving it a topping of compost, hoping that it will give it a boost and fight the mold off. So right now it's just mold management I thinned out the leaves and it looks like the melons are starting to develop so I'm not too worried about losing the crop thus I'm not going to investigate on sprays. Here's the Kerlankic melon at its current stage. It's got a really cool variegated pattern on it and fuzzy hairs so I'm interested to see and also looking forward to seeing what it'll look like next. We know what it'll look like at the end. It'll be this yellow and white variegated fruit. In the meantime, it has been fun seeing it grow. It started as a yellowish female blossom, and then it became a green little melon with specks. And now it's a larger melon with more pronounced specks. What it'll look like next, we'll have to keep an eye out and see. So that's the update. Thanks for checking in and I'll catch you next time.